Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Metropolis, uh, where we are now $28 million in the hole still again. Last episode, I uh, I got fired and uh, had to pretty much start over because I spent too much money. So I guess, of course, the way that we need to play this is slow and steady, as the game has told me before. The only thing about that is, is like, really, there's so much that needs to be done, and it seems like the people in this game are impatient, even though it's a very slow-paced game. Like, it's like something happens and like your job percentage approval rating drops 1% like each day. And it's like you can't really fix it because you don't have money to really do anything. So it's like right now we're $28 million in a hole. We, we can't really do that much. But the people feel like, well, you should be able to do things. Like, I got in here in a rough freaking spot. Alright? I wasn't supposed to be able to do much. Okay? <laughs> Understand that, please, for the love of God. But, journalist questions mayor's ethics. Yes, I'm aware. They always do this. City Museum pr uh, presents great inventions. There's a high level of pollution in the city. Did we did we do that in the policy thing again? I can't remember whether we uh whether we did the uh, emissions control. I don't. Oh, I had it in the last one, but I don't think we did it in this one. So we're gonna put up emission standards. And we're also going to put up the, that was in Environment, E-Waste Disposal, Emissions Control, Zero Litter Program. Let's do all three of those. That's two, I'm sorry, but including the other one, that's three. There we go. Uh, waste Management, Cut Down on Landfill Waste, Hydration Facilities, Operate Drinking Fountains. I think that's all we're going to do for now. We're pretty much where we were uh, in the last version of Weston, I guess. So, Alright, so we got 77 water. Uh, 109 power. I'm gonna go ahead and sell off some of the power again. Bring it back down to like 50. Uh, sell off some of the water as well. Bring it down to 50. Still negative 28 million dollars in the hole. How are we looking in terms of um, unemployment though? Let's see. I'm at 38% popularity. Uh, pollution is still a big issue. Leisure we're doing okay for that surprisingly enough. We're at 465 points uh, in terms of livable city index. We're at the bottom, <laughs> pretty much, number 20. Uh, let's see, what was that? I can't even, I always forget where things are, and it kind of sucks in this game, that I can't remember what I was doing. Welfare department, here we go. Unemployment's at 2.05%. We have 20, 27,000 people that want to work in 26,000, uh, 27, I'm sorry, 27,000, uh, jobs. People, I'm sorry, 27,000 people that want to work, 26,000 jobs, there you go. We have a waiting list of 85 for healthcare. Um, I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and, um, I think we're going to hire some more doctors. Bring the list down a little bit. Uh, we'll bring it down to 70. So we got 15 doctors and 15 nurses. Auxiliaries don't really bring it down at all. So I don't really know what the purpose of each individual one is other than the doctors and the nurses. Because the specialists don't really do anything either. They're just kind of there. <laughs> It's kind of there getting paid. So we're still looking at 2.05. I don't think it's going to get any... I don't think it's going to get any worse anytime soon, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. Uh, stock market's now closed, uh, and we're auto-saving. The economy still moderate. My mayor score went up a little bit to 1,100. Uh, Civil War Diary showing at City Museum. Unemployment. Listen, that's, that's fairly good. 2.05%. All right? I had solved it at one point, but of course, as the days go by, things... Uh, Things get a little bit worse. <laughs> Global financial crisis looms. China moves to let Z extend rule. Uh, Joy Walker, message to the mayor. More teachers. Listen, I hired teachers. All right? I hired teachers. Elderly residents priced off public transports. Mugging reported somewhere. I don't know what she's talking about. I hired, like, our class size was, like, level 30. Not level 30. There were 30 students in each class when I first started out. And there's now, like, 21. So I think I did my job, and I think I did it well enough. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, I've been told that. Um, what is this? Tax department officials have indicated that a focus on collecting unpaid personal tax would bring in around $3.9 million. So almost $4 million. Um, well, I'm going to do it. Listen, you gotta pay Uncle Sam his taxes, man. You can't get around it. You cannot avoid it. This is how, this is how it must be. I just imagine us now going in and breaking in people's doors trying to get taxes. <laughs> like, we need your tax money. Freaking just barges in with a SWAT team. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, I'm getting that money back. Give me the money. Sorry. There have been 14 incidents of crime so far this month. Uh, the stock market, or the market in total is, uh, supposedly starting to drop off a little bit. And I'm thinking... Mm, I was gonna say we could try and invest in Multicorp, but the global economy is looking very poor still. The outlook isn't that great. I mean, our economy is moderate, so it's like, eh, eh. Reality Star opens new city store. Great. Mayor score is still at 1,101 1, now at this point. Uh, let me sell off some more healthcare meets national average. Okay. So we did a little bit better in terms of that as well. Um, we need an ID. No, we don't. We do not. Shut up. Shut up, Rick. My proof rating has stayed kind of steady, though, lately. So that's good. Um, MediaCon keeps going up. I was thinking about buying stocks. Our duty is to help refugees. Well, if they offer me the refugee thing, I will actually take it. But they haven't, so I'm not going to. <laughs> what do you want me to do to boost the economy? Tell me. What do you want me? What do you want me to do? What do you think I could do? Multicorp is now down to 70. Wind farms benefit from the latest tech. Um... I'm thinking, let's see, if I do multi-corp, the time that I would try this, um, can I not buy 100k? I can buy 10k at a time, but apparently I can't buy 100k. I can do, we'll just do that, we'll see where it goes. Is that seven, it was at 70 cent when we bought it, so we'll see where it goes up to. Unemployment now stands at 2.54%. Um, it's getting a little bit worse. I think when it hits like 4%, that's when we'll... That's when we'll go uh, go ahead and actually try and do a, uh, a factory or something to throw up some, uh, to get us some jobs in. I believe someone was mentioning like the, the manufacturing plants in the, uh, what was it, the, not, was it refuse collection or the landfills? One of these things that I could put up that may get jobs and I wanted to kind of test it out. We've now gotten up to 1,105 in terms of our mayor score. We received forecasts for the global economy over the next year. Currently, the economy is moderate. The outlook uh, over the next quarter is expected to be very poor. All right, my un my uh, approval rating has dropped to seven thirty seven percent. Let's see. Uh, like I said, I haven't reached that trigger point yet. Also, the market's getting worse. So, uh, <laughs> Multicorp has now dropped to sixty five cent uh, from when we bought it, which when we did, it was at seventy. So we're definitely losing money on that investment, and there's not much that I can do. Medicon is still around the $2 mark, but uh, I didn't buy theirs. Dang, this is getting worse. 62 cents. Um, What refugees? Jo Joe, I don't know what you're talking about. There are no refugees right now at the moment, okay? We don't have any refugees. If we do, I don't know where the frick they came from. Uh, that property is currently about at $7.9 million dollars. If I sell that, then I could actually throw... Oh, let me get out of freaking... What was that? Bird's eye view mode? Um... Refuse collection, nature reserve, a park. Every place is different, so I'm trying to... Let's, there's a market, high-rise industrial park, water facility, power, solar power station. Uh, that would definitely help with the energy. We currently uh, have like an influx of 11 per day so it's like I kind of want to see 37 million dollars though I don't really have enough for that do I ah we may have to hold back <laughs> 37 the water facility is 39 medical center 37 okay yeah we're just gonna gonna stay steady for now back to 61 cents of multicorp which is still much below my 70 cents that I bought it for so that doesn't really help me Solon Degas painting found on bus. I wish we had some different news, because the news is the same every freaking time. <laughs> every time. Let me go ahead and sell off some of the power again. Uh, sell off some of the water. Bring that down to like 20. And we'll bring this down to 20 also. Alright, there we go. Negative 24 million dollars. Um, I want to build something. Like, I really do. But what that is, what that is, I don't really know yet at the Oh, let me check unemployment again, because I want to see... Uh, that's not it. That's the Treasury Department. Uh, there we go. It's at 3.9. I said I was going to do something at 4%. So we got a little bit more to go. A little bit more. And class size is still at 21. Waiting list is now going to 68. I thought it was at 70 before. Whatever, it doesn't matter. 
Uh, let me speed up some more. It's now the 10th day in September. Shoplifting report in Santa Monica. Utility price uh, prices will usually rise during a recession. Ah. So that means that now since the economy is looking kind of bad, that means that we should get an increase in terms of our utility prices, which would allow us to make a little bit more money. Don't really know how much more, but you know, options there, I guess. Traffic levels in the city are moderate. Yes, I'm aware. We're getting an influx of like 250 people every day. Or is this every day or every month? But I guess we're about to find out because it's about to be another day soon. Multicorp has now dropped off to 58 cents. Petro Petrosol is down to 18 cents. Repcon party polls at 31%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My major score is now 1,108. Hmm. Ga city gallery unable to attract quality exhibits. The city gallery, hold on. Let me see. The city gallery is, I always forget where things are in this freaking game. It's like, <laughs> I don't remember anything. That's the plaza. That's Pacific Plaza. The city, that's Santa Monica. Hold on, get, no, I'm done. That's the Santa Monica Gallery. So I'm, su I'm assuming that's the city gallery. It will cost $12 million to upgrade it from neglected. And it's like, but how, the thing is, it doesn't really tell you like how much things will help. So it's like, if I do this, am I gonna see an influx in tourism? Like what happens based on me doing that? The current economy is described as flat. Our city museum uh, is not attracting many customers. You might want to consider some upgrades. Well, I am considering that. Wait, it says City Museum in Edmonton. So not this place. That's not the City Museum. That's the something else. <laughs> arts Department. We have an Arts Department here? All right, Edmonton, Edmonton, Edmonton. To find Edmonton again. I wish there was like a way that I could just click through and find the different parts of the map rather than having to scroll over to them. Uh, that's Eastwood. Santa Monica's up there. That's the Docklands, which nothing is literally here at all. <laughs> I could put an aquarium over by the Docklands. That would make sense, right? Freaking SeaWorld over by the pier. <laughs> makes sense, I guess, in a way. Mayor score 1,100. I still haven't found Edmonton. <laughs> I've been scrolling around, and I still can't get there. That's the West Coast Marina. I can't put anything there. I was going to say maybe that would make more sense for an aquarium. Because it's like right by the water. Uh, that's City Central. Edmonton must be to the north. That's Airport North. I still don't freaking... That's City Stadium. Where is this place that I'm looking for? Ed, oh, Edmonton's... It was right over here. Uh, so where is it? The city... I'm aware. Get, get out of my face. I know what I need to... I actually don't know what I need to do. That's the Empire Theater. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for then. I'm looking for the... Was it the... Uh, that's the city hall expo where the frick is what i'm looking for boy oh boy oh boy that's pacific plaza still that's not what that's santa monica too so that's not helping me why do i feel like it's there it is city museum i was trying to click that earlier but it wouldn't let me so i thought it was a building that i couldn't really do anything with um i'm gonna make this upgrade just to kind of see what happens and see what we can do uh slow and st uh, all right, there you go. I did what I was told. I did what it was, uh, <laughs> I did what was suggested to me. All right, my mayor score went up to 1,193. Uh, let's check unemployment again to see where we're at. 4.2%, 4.02%. So that was when, that was my trigger point that I said I was gonna start something up. So let's go ahead and, let's see, we're at negative 33 million. Let's throw up a large factory unemployment is now solved we now have an extra thousand jobs so that created I can't I could don't even remember what the number was but we have an extra thousand jobs still and we're negative 53 million dollars in the hole so I can't really do anything for a good minute now multicorp is now back up to 69 cents so maybe that things might be looking better uh, things might be going in the right direction again or not <laughs> Or not, it's now the 13th day in September. We have 39,554 people. I think when we get to, um, I think what was it? When we get to 50,000 people, you get money. So I'm looking forward to that at the moment. <laughs> the moment we're just waiting. 
Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Global economy outlook is poor. I mean, oh, my mayor score went up to 1,300. That was a pretty good jump. People are people are now being satisfied. I'm happy with that. Uh, Zuckerberg and sorry, plea. Wind farms benefit from lace. I wish I could do a wind farm or something. Seems like there's only solar. So it's like, hmm. Vandalism reported in Chinatown. I may, I was going to say, I may sell off some buildings and then throw something else up. Like maybe a, um, not a concert hall, but how much was the aquarium again? I want to see how much it is just so I can, uh, uh, let's see. Where could I build it? I said I was going to build it down here ne near the water. So the Docklands, because we need something by the freaking Docklands because there's nothing here other than maybe like a shipping container or something. Uh, solar farm, H2O treatment plant, recycling center, cinema. I can't put an aquarium there or a zoo or anything of that. Why would I put a conference center down here? That doesn't really make sense, but okay. Oh, there we go. It was 40000 So we got an additional $30 million from the government for exceeding $40,000. That's freaking great. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Homeless shelter. Do we really have any homeless? I don't think so. I may have to go back up to the north and see if I can do it up there. Maybe it requires a... Hmm. A farm. What does a farm do? I mean, I know what a farm does, but, like, what does it do for me in-game? What would a farm do? What would a... Like, I kind of wish it kind of explained to you what things did for you. Like, does this help? Do, do I now get food to export if I build a farm? Or does it just provide jobs? It's kind of weird to have a farm, like, in the middle of town, though. Like, near, <laughs> near the plaza. It's like, oh, yeah, look. There's all these giant buildings. And look, there's a farm in the middle of it. <laughs> That definitely makes sense. Um, maybe back this way? I still don't know where I could put this freaking aquarium, and I want to put one there. There's a nature reserve, bird sanctuary, some cheap things that we could throw up. Um, I just want to put up the farm just to see what it does, like, to be completely honest. Alright, so we threw up a farm. There it is. <laughs> don't know what it did, but there it freaking is. I guess we want to sell it off we can. I guess that's what it is. Uh, the Arts Council would like to invite a long-running Broadway musical to perform in the city. This would require an additional payment of three point, pretty much $3.8 million. Um, sure. The people need to be entertained. Alright. Provides fresh and healthy fruit and vegetables for local markets as well as... Oh, so it does... It helps with jobs. So it does create jobs. Good. Good. Then I meant to do that. <laughs> then I meant to do that. Don't think don't think about it any other way. We still have an additional uh, pretty much thousand jobs that we uh, could throw up. I also kind of want to see the winery in action to see what it does. The power has kind of dropped off in terms of uh, value now so far. But uh, do we have any schools? Elementary school. Where is the main like group of people? Like, there's a bunch of houses over here. Tenement block. Tenement blocks. We don't really... Where is all this, is this housing supposed to be? Is it in these areas here? There's Railway Avenue down there. I mean... What? What happened? It's an autosave. Okay. Nothing. I think I want to build up an elementary school. Because we need schools, right? And I could, if, you know, if I don't really care for it too much, I could sell it off, you know. that That is an option. Although, I wonder... Like... Like, when do, do prices, when do the prices change is what I'm trying to figure out. Like, do prices eventually go up, like, as the city gets better? So, like, now that I've spent $19 million on this, if I, if I wait a little bit and the city gets better, do I then, would I then maybe be able to sell it for, like, $20 million? Or is it just to help me make some money back? Like, is that all? Because I could, how much would the farm sell for? Farm, $3.9 million. So those two combined would be like $12 million back. I think I also have the, um, what what is it? The other place over here that I built up, the hotel. Uh, critics have pointed out that some listed buildings are being neglected. Um, we need a heritage conservation policy. We need to work towards a modern city. We have other pressing priorities. That That's really my thing. 
my uh, approval rating just dropped off again, 36%. <sighs> These people, they're asking for too much of me right now. Just saying. <laughs> they're asking of too much. Let's see. Let's go on over to the policy department. And we're going to do... It's still seeming like there's an issue with uh, the environment. So, let's do e-waste disposal, environmental education. Look, we don't even, we barely have enough teachers for this, okay? Sustainability center. Let's do e-waste disposal. Let's do that. And we'll also do bottle return scheme waste management. There we go. All right, that's all I'm doing for right now. We'll see how much that affects us later on. Uh, there have been 30 incidents of crime so far. Uh, Multicorp has now dropped back off again. Ah, boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Let me check the race again to see what's going on. 36% uh, to 30. Uh, Rick Rogers of the Repcon Party. Joe Walker has 24% supporting commerce, industry, and business. Hmm. 349 days until the election. I mean, our points have gone up steadily in terms of livable city. We started at, like, what, 250? And now we're almost at 700, so... I mean, we're getting there. I mean, <laughs> I was going to say slow and steady. Jobs are good. Leisure's good. Housing's good. Taxes, not really. Education. We don't really have... We only have one freaking school, seems like. <laughs> we have one goddamn school, and I just built that one. I don't know where the kids were going to school before, but... Uh, <laughs> they, they were being homeschooled, every last one of them. I could sell off the medical clinic, too, because I built that. That's nine dollars. I mean, nine dollars, nine million dollars. Uh, I'm thinking. So I was gonna say maybe I could build up another school, like a like a university or something. The economy is now doing poor, and I don't know why or how to fix it. <laughs> I don't know why or how to fix it at all. We build up a casino, a shopping mall, a large market, golf course. Hmm. I don't really want to do any of those. <laughs> Bird Sanctuary, Nature Reserve. Um, wait. What, wasn't one of these things $5 million that I could do? That's $4.6 uh, million on the Cathedral. Grand Hotel, $6 million. Uh, Santa Monica Gallery, 12 There was something up here that was like $5 million, I'm pretty sure. $8 million, $15 million. Definitely not freaking doing that. The Empire Theater, the Expo. Uh, let's do that. Oh, I got fired again. <laughs> God freaking dang it. Ugh. I thought it said I had up to $70 million. Like, do they just... They just fired me anyway. Alright. Well, guess I'm gonna end it here, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Maybe I won't get fired in that one. <laughs>